All right, guys, we pulled up to this beautiful little island, and Lars was saying it's an abandoned DECA station. It's an old military station out here, and uh, I don't know exactly what that means, but he was super excited to check it out. So I said, okay, tell you what, I'll give you my cellular device. Oh, Houndy ate it right there, dude, right freaking there. Oh, Houndy came up and crushed it, and I was clowning around. But I gave him my phone. I said, go take all the pictures you want. Go take all the videos you want. And we're going to do a little bit of fishing here. So it looks like we, don't, we got bollards. We got a really deep cut with uh, sand flat going over it. So I think we're going to do. First, we're going to try and fish the seawall and kind of just work our way around. And then maybe come to the mouth right over there. Fish that drop off. You know, I put on a little X-wrap. little white X-wrap. And uh, let's see if we catch some fish here. Just have some fun exploring an abandoned island. Wow, look at that drop off, dude. Look at that drop off. Oh, what was that? Oh, something's on it. What are those? What are those? Are those more mackerel? Oh, houndies. Okay, houndfish. Yeah, I've noticed there's a lot of houndfish around here. A lot of houndfish and cereal mackerel. I could throw another jig, but I'm starting to run low on jigs after the mackerels we were playing with earlier today. But we're gonna throw this white X wrap around for a bit and I don't know, just see what we find. That's kind of the cool thing of exploring, you know, new waters is that I don't know what I'm gonna find. Never really know. You know what I find interesting? I used to I catch a lot of snapper back in Florida on plugs like this and little jigs and I really haven't seen a lot of snapper here thus far you know in shore I'm not sure why that's the case yeah you see that drop off they just was this was since this was an old military base I think this was all dredged out and uh this area, you'd normally have flats up here in this bay, but because it was dredged, now you have this deep cut running through here. I mean, there's gotta be some snapper and grouper hold up in here somewhere. All right, I think we're gonna hit this drop off here. I didn't catch anything along the seawall there, but I think we're gonna try right along this drop off because usually there's always a fish or two hanging out on these drop-offs it goes from like a few feet deep down to I don't know five six feet maybe deeper oh that's a fish what is that probably a barracuda or a mackerel Oh, he just came off. Oh no, he's right here. What the, what the world was that? No, it might've been one of those. Oh, there he's right there. Oh, he's on it again. Oh, I got him, that rascal. You, you ain't slick, boyo. Oh, it's one of those jacks. Woo, all right. There we go. Keep running into these little jacks. I'm not sure exactly what kind of jack these are, but I've seen them around plenty of times now. There you go, little buddy. All right, caught ourselves a fish here. A little bit of action. Wow, dude, I mean, this place is unreal. I mean, you guys should see some of the yachts that are sitting around here. There's one yacht, okay. There's one yacht that's like anchored over there. Lars and I looked at the price of it, $250 million. 250 million, you, oh, just missed another one. Oh, there he is. Oh, this is a decent fish. It's another one of those jacks, but it's a bigger one. Working me pretty good. I don't see him yet. He's right here. Oh, another big, another jack. Whoa, boy, come to me. Whoa, not that close. 
A little bigger. A little bigger. Oh, wow. Pretty. These fish are really pretty. Well, this one not particular, but blue and silver. And they seem to be all over the flats here in the Bahamas, these things. Everywhere we've been, from Bimini to uh, the berries to here in the Exumas, is full of these jacks. All right, buddy. See you later. Whoop! Wrong way. There you go. There he goes. All right. Catching a few fish here. Oh, dude, I'm getting bumped. Mad crazy right here. Oh, dude, right there in front of me. Oh, my goodness. Oh, that's a Cuda. Oh, shit, that's a Cuda. Oh, what's he doing? This way isn't it that way. Oh, we're going all over with you. Come here, you rascal. Well, I don't think he'll cut me off here the way it's hooked. Pop these hooks out. Ate it right in front of my feet. Woo! Look at the teeth on that cuda. There you go, mister. Alright, so it seems like all the fish we're catching have been coming onto this rocky shallow area from the deeper parts. So as long as we keep casting out in the middle here and you know working a lure right here through the shallows should keep catching fish but it looks like it kind of bends around here where that uh pole is so get a little deep but oof. we'll see let's see if we can keep catching fish oh maybe we can get up here yeah man let's see if we can get up here uh, oh wow Oof. okay 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 i see this is a nice little stretch here okay yeah so there's a deeper part it kind of comes up here let's see if we can work this area a little bit so here there was a current moving towards the basin that i had just came from and where there's a current moving from deeper water into the shallows there's always fish so I started fan casting around with the extra app, trying to cover as much of the water as I could and see if there was anything there that was interested in the extra app. I hadn't seen any bait fish really at all in that area, so I still wasn't 100% sure what the preferred bait was. But as I was throwing the extra app, you know, catching a few fish here and there, I started to come to some conclusions. Big houndy. Houndy. Nice houndy. Smoked the x -rap. Let's go. We left the island to go driving around with the dinghy, and then we found this really cool little shipwreck that was just offshore, so we immediately swathed my rod for the Hawaiian sling from the sailboat with the hope of shooting a nice snapper or grouper for dinner. And I also wanted to see what was swimming around down here. I'm not sure exactly what kind of boat this was, but it had some nice coral heads and it had plenty of reef fish just buzzing around. There were some really nice lane snappers swimming around too, but they were so skittish. I mean, you would get 10 feet, even 15 feet away from them, and they would dart right back underneath the wreck too far in to where I couldn't shoot them, so I never really got a good shot on anyone. And after giving up at the wreck, we swapped my spear back for the rod and started driving around some nearby islands. And at this point in the trip, 
I didn't think I would get an opportunity to chase bonefish, which was one of my initial goals of the trip, but I instead switched focus to mutton snapper and grouper with all the reefs that we had sitting around. So here we started driving over the reefs surrounding these islands, trying to get a better understanding of how these reefs were laid out to predict where the snapper and grouper could be. I mean, the water was literally crystal clear, so we could see every little rock, hole, ledge, and really scope out the area. I casted as much as I could as we were moving, but I didn't end up catching anything. I still had the X-Wrap tied on, but as we drove around, I started to reflect on why I wasn't catching anything on these beautiful reef flats. And I came to the conclusion that the X-Wrap just clearly was not the ideal bait for snapper and grouper. And so the next morning, I went through my tackle boxes and reevaluated what I wanted to throw instead to get the target species. Just so you know, I didn't have a guide or anybody to tell me what to do, what to look for. And to be frank, there really was very little information online about fishing these really shallow reef flats. So I was figuring out this whole area for myself. And it was a really interesting challenge that definitely took a while to figure out and, and, and understand fully. All right, guys, we are wrapping up today. I had quite an eventful day today. Saw the caves, saw the piggies. I almost forgot about the pigs today. And uh, we went and fished that island right over yonder. We got what's left of the sunset. I was trying to free dive that rack again and pluck out a lane snapper or two for dinner. And those those rascals were holed up deep in there and didn't want to participate. So I guess we're starving. I'm a little bummed out by the snapper, but it is what it is. You know, we haven't found any mutton or mangrove snappers on the bay side here or the flats here. And that's like perplexing me. I don't know why we haven't seen any. We saw some up in the berries, in that hole, but they were mixed in there with a big old kubera. But I don't know why we haven't seen any here, like on the rocks, on the coral, like, but that's kind of the beauty of fishing in new areas, you know, learning it and trying to figure it out and, you know, doing what you can. So I think we're going to call it a night here. Well, I'm going to wipe myself off, change, grab a beer, eat some dinner and go and lights out and then... Hopefully tomorrow in the morning, get on some more cereal mackerel, maybe mix them for breakfast. We'll see. But we'll see you guys tomorrow.